I'm messing up my own stuff. Oh, God. Anyways, thanks for joining me. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to play another round of RimWorld. Not because if anybody asked me, but I've just been in a play, uh, mood to play some RimWorld. I played a lot of games, a lot of different ones, but uh, I kind of want to just jump into some games that really grab my attention. And RimWorld, obviously, is one of them. So, uh, to start this day off, I am going to work on a cave trap I created yesterday. I, I mean, I just put a little bit of time off stream, and I was just like, you know... This seems like a good thing to stream, so I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. We talked about the uh, making homes inside mountains, so I decided, hey, you know what? That would be a pretty good stream, so I decided to work on it and see. Um, I, I was planning on making it an arena for uh, not an ostrich, but, you know, I'm not there yet, but I will make an arena for not an ostrich. That's just, it goes without saying. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So that way we can play some games. Oh god. Hopefully. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Sexy sexy. But and let load my cave run. Alright. There we go. Looks like it's looking good. Let's take a deep look into what I've done so far. First and foremost, I made a, a ranch area. I don't know if I need to take out the doors because last time my horses didn't quite make it. But I need to have some hay, so I put some hay down here. And I put the electric fan here. And this is a tribe, so they just got electricity. I'm having them do a little bit of research at a time. Just stuff that I need. And then I'm just going to clean up over here. And then we'll start working on everything else. It would be nice to have, in my personal opinion, some gun turrets. That's not necessary. It's mostly for uh, those mad animals that come at you. Because, uh, yeah, they can just pretty much wreck your place if you're not paying attention. And it sucks. Beautiful Aurora is lighting up the sky. As soon as I see it, as soon as I hit their alarm, I just, uh, I draft some people and I'm just like, alright, I'm in there. Cargo pods. What do we got here? Steel clay. I got plenty of steel for right and rotten. Still fresh. I didn't get that. So my next adventure, uh, <clears throat> my next, I think, little project is going to be making the battery room, which is right here. Um, I smoothed out. I haven't, like, replaced many walls. Um, the only ones that I did replace, because I'm trying to use pure cave here. The only ones I did were the ones that were steel, because I wanted to have steel for all the electricity I'm putting in this bitch. So that's that's a thing I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to go and make... I already made one bedroom. And I made it for <clears throat> Roberto because he's the cook. I was thinking about moving this couch somewhere else. Possibly right here. And then uh, making a door that goes right into the kitchen. So that way he can actually enter the kitchen with no problem. That was my initial thought, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. He is the cook, so I didn't see that there wouldn't be any reason not to. Make sure I speed this up, because it take a while for them to do. Plus, I like to go for, uh, super speed all day, every day. Alright, peoples. I think I am low on wood, and I need to set out some plots for it, so take a look here. I think it's growing right now. It's really hard to find trees. Most of the trees are so out of the way. I don't... Uh, let's see. I 
I did not get a whole lot of sleep last night. But I haven't been getting much sleep anyway since the schedule changed with uh, with my dog, so it's kind of hard to keep track of everything going on in my life while handling the dog, but I've managed. Somehow. Somehow. Alright. Make sure we have enough wood. This fan is going. I was hoping to see if... Because he said that like it actually harvests. So I'm hoping to see if it harvests the hay. And if that's the case, I'm probably going to make it harvest all this. We'll see. I know it's less work. Sure. I don't have to worry about it as much. It's a good thing he's actually working on the battery. Because I was going to actually work on that next. Power. As soon as I research it. Because he's researching it right now. Yeah! Give me that battery. The tribal has gone from old and decrepit and <clears throat> without any kind of technology to a booming industry of power. Because I need a fridge. Winter's almost over. And since winter has uh, been a staple in this game, it's going to be nice to be able to do that. So the next research I'm going to do... Hmm. I might do some lights just to start off. I kind of want to get into solar panel, but I think advanced lights goes first. I haven't used one yet since I've started this. I don't understand. I don't understand what's wrong with me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out. I guess I can start that without anything. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> the colors. Dude, I can actually check all that out. But I want to get some basics for the electricity because my next goal is to make a turret. Oh, actually, fuck that turret. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up first because having long blades and play armor is awesome. And then I can start <clears throat> doing a drug production and bring in some trade up in this bitch. to do here temperature put a vent right here do a door here get rid of all this shit and then we're gonna I guess after I clo enclose this whole thing I'm going to Throw some generators in here and smooth out the walls. And because he loves smoothing walls, he'll do this first. Because that's what he does. He, he goes straight into smoothing out any surface that you tell him to. He doesn't even mind. He won't do anything else but this. Which is cool. I like that. And because the batteries are going to be here, I think I'm going to put some stand to, uh, stone tile here. I'll put some sandstone tile all up in this piece. And then, I'll smoothen this out, a room out, and it'll be safe to put all my batteries in. And I put a vent in there for the battery's sake. Because apparently it gets extremely hot in there. I don't even know if a wooden door is a good idea. If I'm being honest, I'll probably change this. Let's see. Let's do... A sandstone door. That'll work. As soon as he's done there. He seems to be having ha uh, like happy thoughts right now. All about his fun job at the factory.
eliminate any fire hazard and because it'll be rock i won't have to worry about it catching everything on fire because that's really the biggest thing right now all right now what we want is power and we have the battery now Structure, power, we're going to put some AC in here. I guess I, I don't have enough stored. Fuck. That's all right. We had some crashes before. I just need to go ahead and check out if I can find any good stuff. I think this is compacted steel. Oh yeah. Advanced lighting. Now I can change the colors. It's a pretty. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Clear out this other research. I, I'm fully aware <laughs> that getting all of them, like, and just going in order is a waste of time, but just wanted to be able to do it. There we go. That's gold ore. Bitch, crazy. What? What am I going to do with gold ore? I have no idea. <laughs> Ask me later. There's uranium. There's a lot of ore here. Back to machinery. That's what I was looking for. That's what we were looking for. Fuck yeah. Back to machinery. Get some AC in my fucking shit so that way. Weez be good, friends. Weez be good. Ah. <sighs> Then I was going to have a here. So let's go ahead and cancel that. I still want it to have kind of like an insulation here. I'm going to leave that up as is. He said something about like. Fuck you. Going to party. I guess we should make this a party area. The miscellaneous party spot. There we go. <clears throat> Get a party area. Females are upset. I am out of food already. Fucking a man. I forget if you don't make them do this stuff, they just don't do it. Fucking annoying. Come on. <coughs> hey. <coughs> hey. <coughs> hey. <coughs> Enough. <laughs> Ophelia! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ophelia! <laughs> Hush! <laughs> Hush! <laughs> Shh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Give me one second, guys. Uh, 
Yeah, she didn't like uh, well, whatever the hell was going on at this point. I have no idea what she was upset about, but hey, not gonna complain. Is there an issue with my power being in here? Hmm. Oh yeah, it's cut off. That's why. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh. Well, it looks like Ango's angry. If you don't mind. <laughs> She's lost her damn mind. <laughs> Who would have thought that food would make him go crazy like that? And thanks a lot, sir. I don't have to fix shit after you. It's technically my fault, but... Looks like somebody needs a rescue. <laughs> How did the Reborneo get all messed up? No, my, my poor dog. I ran out of food. How could I do this to myself? Maybe I can load an autosave. <laughs> I, I, I might have fucked up. I might have. There, there's a risk of starvation. Now we're gonna have to go further back. <laughs> I fucked this one up. Damn it, man. I feel like a dumbass. All right. Let's go hunt some animals. Let's go ahead and do my priority. Just for hunting. Where's the hunting hunt? Let's go ahead and make that a extreme priority. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I was going to mine this shit. I was going to go ahead. Where's my damn place? Oh, there it is. Put a power co a conduit right there for the moment. I can't believe I didn't pay attention to the starvation. Ugh, that was so stupid of me. My poor little doggies are starving. What is wrong with me? How could I do this to my own animals? Your hunting sucks. How many times are you gonna miss? I right, go feed the peoples, man. He ate the raw food. Dude, let it be butchered, dude.
Is anybody going to cook this? I don't know what's going on. Okay, there you go. About time, man. It needs to be cooked. Don't eat raw meat. What is wrong with you? Let it be cooked at least. What are you guys doing? They're all going to have like food poisoning. Whatever. These guys are idiots. I can't believe they did that. Did somebody just like... Uh, <laughs> I'm confused as to what's going on here. There we go. It's about time you fucking made a meal. What's wrong with you? Probably not even that many. Just one. One simple meal. Gotta eat everything. Alright, I think I might have staved off the starvation for now. Let's go ahead and have... No, purple's not really important. Ah, good. Cook something already, man. You guys don't want meals? You're just like, we love raw food. We don't care. We'll eat whatever you give us. I was hoping for some big ass ship parts. But if I if I have an idea, it's probably because I think sometimes visitors come and strip it. I may be wrong. But if I don't get to it... Hello. Yes. Well, at least that's going on. Good. Hey, I need you. Just, just saying, I need you to make this a priority because this is important. Whatever you're doing is not as important as getting that done. We, we really seriously need to be able to refrigerate our food. What are wildlife doing? Damn, he's clearing them out like crazy. I'm not about to go and fight some things I don't need to. But we need some food. Holy fuck, we need some food. All right. 
you guys would just stop grabbing the food and letting him cook it, we'd be able to have some food. Weeks ago, I need you to prioritize something, okay? I need you to prioritize. I need you to prioritize cleaning this shit up. Good God. There we go. Now we got some stuff. Biggest pain in the ass ever. We all say that I need... I need you guys to finish this off. There we go. We need to make this as low as possible. There we go. And that way the heat can escape. Not build up too much pressure. We're gonna make kibbles for my, my dogs? I mean, you realize that my dogs are going to starve to death. Oh, thanks for the tip, man. How's it going, Massey? It's been a while. I'm trying my own little cave experiment, as you can see. I found a nice big old mountain. I'm like, we're gonna be cave people today. Ready for another wonderful day of work? Of course I'm low of food. I mean, I'm only trying to kill everything. What do you mean they get uh, added to my colony's wealth?
Really? I didn't know that. Stronger raids, huh? Yeah, I was planning on running wire through all these rooms because each one is going to be a bedroom and I want to get rid of all the torches. That's why I have my electricity running right now and then I have batteries and I'm going to run wire in all these rooms. I'm making five rooms. I got a... Um, I believe I'm going to make this the jail, this the hospital. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do next. Not yet, anyway. Clean this up a little. There's an animal flap. Who would that be at? Oh, you mean these right here? The wooden ga uh, fence gates? What are you talking about? I am short on trees. <laughs> I guess I could do that. <laughs> I always just, uh, I have a hard time um, paying attention to the speed when I'm working.
Oh yeah. Pretty soon we'll start making drug trade. Whoops. But they're so pretty. It happens. It happens. I'm glad you caught that though. I was wondering why they were uh they were a little starving. Just a little starve. Like on the social drugs or meals, or even wildlife hunting, you can just choose one option and drag it down for it to be the same option. Like, okay, I see what you mean. This one I had any. Oh, okay. I guess I should do sandstone floors. Do flagstone. Oh yeah, true enough. I think I should make my stock pile a little bit bigger. What do you think? Just a little bit. I'm going to store any steel in here. Pretty much any of these can be stored outside. Well, except for like the really expensive stuff. I guess where uranium can be out here too.
Oh, I didn't even know there was such a thing as blight. That should be easy enough. Oh, look who decided to show up now. I had some personal stuff. I guess I'll have to take that as a good enough reason, I suppose. Who are these people? Oh, uh, just uh, some tribe that I'm working on, so that way, uh, you know, shit. Well, their names are going to be changed later. This one is actually to prepare for you, buddy. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Not the erectile uh, <laughs> dysfunction. <laughs> no. No, I'm trying to build a uh, civilization so that way I can make... Uh, uh, Mr. Squeaky, and I was going to make a, a nice little arena just for you. A little fighting arena. What we're going to do is we're just going to have you fight whatever we think that is possible you to fight in this one arena. So we'll just wrangle up a, 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 a monster or a person and just have you duke it out right here in this little arena. Oh shit, I forgot to smooth these out. <laughs> yeah! So I'm just gonna buy a slave, call him not an ostrich, and then I've had him fight to death. That's the plan. He'll be our, like, one expendable person. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll wait till a slave trader comes in and, and keep, keep it healthy and living. As much as I can. No promises, though. Uh, all right. Well, what can I make in this room? My wealth graph? Where would that be at?
It is... It's mediocre wealth. They're pretty much all mediocre, really. I didn't think it would bring it up too much, because it's sandstone. <laughs> I was planning on it. Yeah, there is. The next slave trader to come in here, I'm going to buy a bunch of slaves. I mean, you could, but my people don't have enough food to be running around doing that anyway. Let me check out this damn schedule here. Who's my cook? Hmm. Maybe I should make these three. Just so he can cook faster. Needs to get his shit together. And I guess I could put stone blocks in here, like... They're fairly common. Usually, uh, I'll see a bunch of them coming by, um, after like, 20 days or so. So it's actually really easy to get slaves. <laughs> Not too much Delirious! You know, not an ostrich actually introduced me to that game not too uh, not too long ago. It was actually really fun. Let's see, manufactured textiles? No. With the not an uh, emperor peacock looking thing. Alright. That should at least give me some space. They come in quite a bit. I guess it really depends on how many villages you are around. Because if you're around um, a lot of villages, you'll end up getting it a lot more often. Especially if you live next to a slave village. A slaver village, basically. It's all about location, location, location. I could also, you know, attack a caravan and make it my bitch. That's always an option. I know I had one game where I had slave, uh, slave traders coming in like every six cycles or days, however they do that here. All right, finally, some food for my doggos. I still have both of them, right? Ah, oh, yeah. Nice and alive and kicking it. I'm not attacking shit. I'm just trying to make my uh, civilization. Every time you get into the middle of anything... What ends up happening is I don't get very far. I end up dying a lot. The whole community goes to shit.
Today we're going to be drug dealers. So basically, I'm making drugs. Speaking of which, I need to create my uh, my drug lab. My steel drug lab. No, I don't have enough components. You did. You you did hear it. I need components though. So the next person that comes in, and check if they have any. I'm looking for compacted machinery, but I think I got all of the ones in, in the area. But I do need to stock up on some for repairs. There's gold. Compacted steel. Let's see. Oh, there's some right here. Put a marker on that. Hello, compacted machinery. Where are you? I was hoping for like some ship crash stuff, but nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just this crap right here. And I need steel, sure, but I don't need it as much. <sighs> Fucking psychic drones. Angry. What do you mean? What heresy? I could do this, sure, but it's faster to do this. Yes, found some more. Can you? I mean, I think you can. Can you enslave prisoners? I haven't even tried that. I even, I've never even thought to, really. Where are we going here? I think I need to make it a priority. Who's my miner? I guess Mexico would be the one. And Mexico is not something, some Mexican I made. It's just his name that he started off with. His name is Mexico. I don't know if that's a derivative of Mexicans or what. I have no clue. So you can do it through a mod then. Oh, there's more of it here. I'll let you sleep, Mexico. For now. But I want my drug lab. I want my drug lab! That's kind of messed up. <laughs> Fair enough. I think I can only zoom out this far, right? Is this how you do it? The heresy? I can cook you up to fight. I'm sorry. You, you just nearly made me choke on myself. Holy shit, dude. You want me to coke you up with some yayo? Make you the only person addicted to yayo in the whole colony? I'll definitely have to pick up ideology then. It's expensive, but I think it's well worth it in the end, if I can do that. <laughs> Not as long as you have the cocaine in you, you ain't revolting. 
That's how we keep you. Uh, that's how we keep you around. That's how we keep you fighting. We just coke you up. You don't even know what's what anymore. You're so skeeted. You don't. You don't even have a right to say anything. You're gonna be so coked up and happy. You'd be like, what is love, love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. That's gonna be in your head while you're just chilling in your cell. There is a very minimal amount of trees in the mountains, as I've noticed. And an unbelievably shitty amount of trees. Just need a little bit. Ah, shit. Alright, we have a mad animal here. So, who are my fighters? All right, go and beat this thing to death. I believe in you. Violence. <laughs> Not an ostrich's ha hands. Not an ostrich's ass. His face. Well, shit. Looks like purple got hurt. I'm so sorry, purple. I'm going to undraft you, and we'll make your bed into a medicine bed. And let's not waste the food. Can he do the self-treatment? Yeah. That's true. I do not have any... Well, the warg is a predator, I think. I don't see any more dead bodies around them. Is there a chance that I can get attacked for stealing their meals, though? Because that would be funny. Well, hey, bitch, don't you fucking grab my carcass. That's my food. Looks like I missed a few. But it's all good. I'll get used to it. Eventually. Purple, what's wrong with you anyway? Oh, just a bruised leg. Ah. Purple, you baby. Let's see. Now, I trained my dog. I did that. But I was wondering... If there's a way to harness these abilities, or do, do they just do it by themselves automatically? Looks like I got plenty of food today! I guess I should start my drug farm.
So as long as you don't try to grab it after they attack, you're fine. You're okay. Just don't touch their shit while they're fucking hunting, because, you know. They'll, they'll drop kick you in the face. Psychic Soothe. Yeah. My females are going to have good stuff. I don't know what this is for. <laughs> now when you when you talk about pawn ah uh, that's unfortunate Might as well have this strawberry in here too. <laughs> now that's pretty funny and cool. Funny how that works out. I guess I better give somebody some food because or a new room, because they're going to be all upset and butthurt. Take off that medical bed. You can have it back. All right. Now. Furniture. If I make it too expensive, they'll attack. You know, now that you mention it, yeah, they do. They actually do look like pawns. Oh yeah, I have some stone protection uh, production going on. I haven't even decided. If I should go straight tile. Well, it's inside, so tile would probably be more appropriate. Let's see. Floors. And then the door, we'll make this a steel door right here. <laughs> All right, I'm hearing you out. What do you What do you want this time, buddy? What What could you possibly ask for at this point in time? Animal, uh, animals fight to the death, right? Yeah, that's true. If you built a ring with a prison attached and a bunch of cages to put wild animals in, can you even capture wild animals? Ooh, you know what? I think I've seen something similar to that in Lord of the Rings. Not the crappy one, the... the um... God, Shadow of Mordor, I think. Such a good game. I like to talk uh, attacking uh, goblin bases. No, but you can incapacitate and then carry them to holding cells. All right. I will see you later, not an ostrich. Thanks for stopping by, as always. Harvest all this shit. Alright. Hopefully they'll get to it.
See? I get slavers all the time. I told you I got a slavers. Just don't have a place to put them. All right, let's see what they got to trade. Which one has the social skill? Well, I think I already have a growing zone for him. She's just, a, I think this one planter can't do the job by herself. Like she can't do all this harvesting and do the trees and everything else with it. Cause she, during the winter time, she cuts most of the trees down. I have to prioritize sometimes. Now, which one is the social one of the group? Uh, well, it's a choice between Godoa, Bukim, Ango, or Komba. Komba's my hunter, and Ango's nearby. Let's see what they have. Oh, so I could I could make a zone for them to just cut it, but not so. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, you got me, you got me. Holy crap, I didn't even think about that. Frankie the Knight looks a little short and naked. Hmm. That's not a bad price for it, but it's expensive. And I don't have that kind of money. It looks like he only wants to give me a little bit for it and some of this shit. Fuck that dude. Six dollars and seventy-two cents for gold and herbal medicine. We'll just cancel the trade. It's not worth it. Not right now anyway. So it's not an ostrich not here. I don't have to buy from slavers just yet. They'll be back. Ah. Huh. Oh yeah, fuck that then. So do you think that they would use this area as cover behind the barn? I mean, if they're trying to attack anybody, they'll probably have to go up the, uh, the plants right now. Whoa. A warg is hunting my fucking dog down. Wait a minute. Where's my doggy? Where's that warg? Motherfucker. How the fuck did this thing get inside? Kill it! My poor dog.
How dare you! How do I tend to my doggy? Oh, I forgot the dog beds can actually be uh, medical. <laughs> How the fuck? Oh, okay. I'm about to say no. Oh, how dare they attack my dogs like that? <laughs> He's got little white bandages on him. That's cute. I te technically, when it comes to raiders, it, I would probably just build a big fucking wall after I got like a certain amount of space. Just build walls everywhere so they can't even get by. Have them electric doors. Lock all the doors. Like, I am in a mountain range. I could pretty much use all this mountain as cover. Just put fucking doors. Let them attack the shit out of my base. Because I got all this open space right here. Plus this cave. I got my little, little paradise island right here. I could probably just add walls connecting these rocks, and then they'll have to mine it to get by. And since they're drafted, and the computer's probably stupid, you could probably get by. That's why you would make it steel, right? It would take them forever to get through the, uh, through the steel walls. Or you could do slate. What's that hard stone that one was? I know you, you showed me the rankings of it. I, I just forget which one's the strongest. Is it granite? How would you do that? That's what I thought. Just make granite walls. And then I just put turrets on all the uh, all the sides of the walls and just let them go at it. Would they mine actual rock to get to you or do they just go after the um the walls? Like that would be interesting if they actually did mine just to get to you. Does it really? Oh god. I guess granite it is. Let them go after granite for a while. Put some turrets there and boom, raiders done. <laughs> All right, so raiders are no joke. Good to know. I guess I better start researching weaponry and uh, machinists and everything else very soon.
Yeah. How much wildlife I have out there? I better start hunting. Kill them all. I guess my dog's okay. Ooh, cargo pods. I'll take all this rice. And then the rest is just metal slug. I was hoping for some components. Kind of disappointed in that. Why is Bingo sleeping outside? Oh, his bed is still medical. <laughs> Whoopsie, sorry, man. Just go to bed, man. Just, just, just go to bed. So basically have like multiple walls and doors to so they have to get through that before they can get to you. How would I do that, I wonder? Interesting. Did I save this guy? Uh, oh, he's part of somebody else. Oh, they're hostile towards me. Nope, you're going to die, Fabio. Sorry, I don't care about you. Just bleed out my doorstep. I guess we could put some walls up though. I did make a bunch of stone. For right now, I could just do um, sandstone walls. Oh, yeah, I got my full production. Wait, there's a limit where I can build? Huh. I mean, I could technically do it for right here. I could just make the corridor go through. Because I have a corridor to their rooms. So I could just have, like, a bunch of walls where they can shoot in and out of. A bunch of doors. And have them retreat. So I can have, like, section on section. Leading out to here. It sucks that I can't protect myself here, though. 
What the fuck? I guess they gotta leave some sort of opening. They like have turrets behind every single uh, door as they go in. That's pretty interesting. And smart. I have a gaping massive hole in my defenses here. I have to literally, literally I would have to build a wall all the way uh, towards this line. Just to have one wall of defense. Thanks for your beer. I'm going to take Fabio's beer and leave him to die. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I'd say we feel bad for you, but we really don't. We're just going to sell your stuff off. We could strip him too, right? Or should we t wait till he's dead? Damn, he damn near cleared out the whole thing. There we go. One less area to be about. He's probably dead. So let's go ahead and strip him. If, I feel a little fucked up for doing that, but at the same time, was he ever going to use those clothes? No. He's dead. He's all right. Take a temperature real quick, just to make sure. All right, the ventilation's working great. I guess I'm gonna try out the whole zone with the trees. Just expand the zone.
What is this? I don't want a potato plant. Make a growing hose out for here. Let's go ahead and that real quick. Here we go. Now this whole area will be cut down just like you said it would. Hopefully. We'll see. Let me double check just to make sure. Whole area. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess I could just put oak here. That's a big ass zone. Works for me. I right, so we'll deconstruct this. More space. I should probably put up some shelving for this food too. Just saying. I could probably put a hell of a lot more in shelves than I would anywhere else. I'll worry about that after I get some wood. Why is Combo almost breaking? What's wrong with you, man? Recreation deprived, that's it? Jesus. I think I need to build Congo room before he loses his mind hunting. Or give him a break. We do got plenty of food now. I guess I give my dogs raw food and a kibble diet. Uh, let's see, construct that. I guess we should probably make... An electric stove place. I should be able to make it. Yeah. I guess I should start making maybe some pemmican. That'll help me get all the places I need. Why do I have a major? Why is Engo needing a break? Oh, she ate raw food. <laughs> Everybody's moves pissed off. They're eating raw shit. Fuck.
I have a self-tamed mare. Well, that's fun. Oh, but there's some good stuff here. What in the world? Oh, wow. It's actually pretty interesting. That's crazy looking, man. Where do you come up with this shit? <laughs> Massey, I need your secret. Where do you come up with this stuff, man? Ah, oh, shit. My dog's pissed off because I'm making all this noise. Ah, oh well. We'll get over it. Go ahead and get rid of these. Should run some power. I'm going to need it in my workshop anyway. And I guess I should run some wire here. I could just do it up to. Hold on one second, I'll take a look at it. Oh yeah, and that wouldn't be good. But damn, dude. You got paths with you you had to strategize basically the whole location to make sure you didn't get jumped. That's a nice little courtyard. Ponds will be located behind turrets to shoot at enemies, huh? That's pretty interesting. <laughs> it's all good it's it actually looks pretty good though 
you have a setup pretty nice like so basically this would be considered my courtyard so i can pay i can generally just fortify everything all the way up to here and have this the inner part and then i could put some defenses out here as well in case they want to go ahead and mine rock that would be fun Ooh, maybe I should go. No, no, no. Let me let me get some guns actually first. I need. I know I need components to make those, but I found a nice little area full of components right here. I wish you can make multiple walls. I have to mine this shit. Looks like I'll have more steel. Woo! To the right of the red bubble is a breaker where I can turn power on and off to the turrets. Max will use max range to attack turrets, but if they're turned off, they will come within range of turrets. And then you can just flick them on. And they just get berated, huh? That's actually pretty smart. Do you run into a lot of mech raids? I don't know when I started getting all these animals, but... Sure, why not? Come on. I better put floor in two. I need more wood. Drop it all down, sir. <laughs> are they actual robots or are they mechs? Oh, God. So, like, for most people, they, they try, you know, easy and stuff like that. And then if they want chaos after they get used to how to, like, increase what they want and kind of have an idea how they want to build their stuff, they just go full bore, huh? That makes sense. 
It's no wonder that everybody was calling me a beginner. I was like, well, obviously. Now that I see your structures, I'm just like, Jesus Christ. See, I didn't know that wealth actually created harder encounters. That makes sense, though. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> That's interesting, though. So... Basically, you would want to give, like, your regular pawns just crap. The minimum, bare minimum wood, mostly. Because once you start making the room more than mediocre... Wealth is bad. Wealth always has to be defended. Being poor is good. Isn't that what they teach us in economic? No, I'm just kidding. That makes sense. Man, they went and got that penexacillin, didn't they? <clears throat> but can it get too extravagant to the point where you're overdoing it for your pawns and you have to worry about defensing, uh, defense anyway? get to the point where I can
Think about putting a lab right here. All that stuff will get you jumped. <laughs> That's basically what you're telling me. Too much stuff and you're going to get jumped by everybody. I mean, that's pretty smart. Damn, he researched blowback operation really fast. That makes sense, though. Hopefully I have enough time to actually get my defenses together before I have to worry about being raided at all, period. <clears throat> but having a higher difficulty in getting raided, uh, raided all the time, that sucks. I wonder, can I have more than one of these? Have a bunch of crop harvesters. Yeah. Does anything special happen on eclipses usually? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's that's rough man not gonna lie holy fucking shit <laughs> yeah, go ahead and send me a screenshot. I'll take a look at it.
<laughs> no, no, a guy with a reviver, uh, revolver taking on 150 plus raiders. Fuck, dude, that's a lot of raiders. After that, I want to get into solar paneling. Is solar paneling any good in this game? I always wondered. That's a lot of food. <laughs> Damn. Talk about getting paperback fucked in more ways than one. Holy shit, man. That's rough. Uh Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you think the system would crash if that were the case? Probably.
Hopefully I don't run out of medicine. That was a lot of ducks. Good God, I have a lot of ducks. <laughs> I think I should sell some of these. Man, that's a lot of diseases. I'm going to run out of medicine. It's official. There's too many animals. Ducks are making more ducks. There's so many. Looks like he's doing a good job. Magnificent! <laughs> Too many animals? My Muffalo 180 would like a word with you. <laughs> 180 Muffalos? Good God. Uh oh, Paka 205. <laughs> well, shit. I guess we could sell some of these ducks. Was it that person that can talk to people? I think it was. Ango. Ango, talk to this guy right here. See if he'll buy some of these ducks. I mean, it's shit prices, but... I only need a male and a female. Do you have any components for me? You do. What else can I give you? I guess I could take some advanced components too. They're still asking for a whole bunch though.
Come off with some profit, I guess. That works. You can have all those ducks. They're diseased anyway. Enjoy taking care of them. <laughs> Look at the little ducklings with them. Now you get plenty of eggs. And I don't have to feed them all. Enjoy. Oh god. <laughs> Well, damn, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would never believe that, honestly. Not you of all people. Why is Mexico going crazy? Did Mexico go crazy and start beating up on everything? Good God. <laughs> All right. Oh, like so right here. I can do that. Well, except for these.
Boom. Now they all got their own room set up. Yay! <laughs> Took forever, and Mexico being a retard is attacking people for no reason. Why is Mexico fucking injured? Like, right here. I can cancel these. And then I could just build the wall. Hell yeah. I don't have a river nearby, so... I do have geysers nearby. I'll wait on that though. Let's go ahead and do the auto door. That might be helpful. We can move these. And then put a door. Or a wall, I mean. Yeah. No. So it could be stored outside. But who wouldn't want a cold frozen beer? <laughs> A nice ice brewski. I know I don't allow to actually do anything, but you know. Are we having more duck babies? Oh. Who knew that you could sell so many little ducks for eight pieces of a <laughs> component? It'd be all right. It'd be perfect. Also, should probably put some power along here. And our over this way. Dark light. So they can sleep better. We should deconstruct that. That's a waste of time. And wood. Finally! Some fucking wood! Oh yeah, Mexico. He said, back to work.
A comms console and an orbital trade beacon? What is that? I mean, there's still room to grow, I believe. I'll just have to expand it quite a bit. Put walls here, put walls here, make it huge. There are ways. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that was a thing. I guess when I get to that point, I'm gonna be like, "Whoa, my tribe has gone from from uh, rock stone age to space age." Now, where would you get that though? I guess it would have to be after the microelectronic age. I'm sure. I could launch people into fucking areas and attack them? The fuck? I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. My re research. Oh, yeah. Power. Hmm. I mean, I don't think I need solar power at the very moment. Oh, I could probably throw in a bunch of fans and it'll probably be fine. Just have them cut my crop for me. Looks like I am running out of food. I need to send out my hunter to do some more hunting. I wouldn't want you to eat all the meat in one sitting. Exotic goods, huh? Stage 11.
It's the last gray area of my uh, research. What do they have for me? What do you got for me? I got ducks for sale. Oh, he doesn't want my ducks. Oh, but he does like some of my clothes. I can get rid of some of this shit. Can't believe Travel War is actually pretty pricey. Damn! You can make lots of clothes for a big profit. Okay. That makes sense. They do have components. Uh, I don't see myself sending my guys out anytime soon. I could probably give up a horse. Oh, make some profit off of this. <laughs> Always buy components. Yeah, I know. I would. Definitely always buy that. Accept that. Now I got a healthy stock of whatever amount of components I have. 36, I got 36 components now. Perfect. See a lot of steel and shit here, but not enough cutting of wood. They don't want to cut wood. That's what it is. They hate happiness. Who's my woodcutter anyway? Oh, I see. Purple's been just making a bunch of stone. Not that I won't use it later. Huh. I should probably put heat in here, too.
<laughs> yeah, I kind of realized how important it was when I didn't have any of my other records. I was kind of pissed off. I'm like, oh, man. Now, now that I have electricity, now I can start building stuff. And I'm like, oh no, I don't have any components. Then I frantically searched the whole map to find some components. And I didn't find a single thing. Except for, there was this area where some one of my people had a really bad feeling about. There was some components in there, but I didn't want to fuck with it. ABT. <laughs> 188. Do you need the um, the special ones as much, or do you just need just a few to get some of the buildings going? Like the advanced components. What was that all about? Then I'll definitely have to do that. All right, Purple, I think you cut enough stone for me to last me quite a while. Like, damn. A lot of fucking stone. I did not realize she was making that much, but at least I can make thick-ass walls. I guess. <laughs> More walls for my defense. Just throw all this, like, I surround myself with, like, triple-layer walls. With turrets in between every single one of them. As soon as you walk in the door, you just get shot up. What are you doing, purple? Cut that wood like I asked you to. God. About time, jeez. <laughs> Do like bionic uh, body parts make them stronger in any way, shape, or form? Like I know that some uh, some of the characters you can actually get random traits like um, <clears throat> wanting prosthetics and stuff like that. Obviously, you can use bionics.
Oh, okay, that would explain why I'm having issues here. Hell yeah. More power! How many things can you actually make bionic, though? Like, just limbs, or can you make bionic hearts or some shit like that for, like, people who have, like, heart issues or back problems? You can give them a new spine. Because that would be cool as fuck. You have warm clothes. Am I missing a parka? Did it lose its uh, thing? We'll make an extra parka for Engo. No, my poor ducks. Not gonna lie, that sounds pretty awesome, though. Make a person almost damn near full bionic. The toughest motherfucker in the seas. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck, that hurt like a motherfucker. Ah. I imagine. <laughs> Make them half robots. Poor dead ducks. They're starting out my animals. This one I put kibble on it, right? Nice. Do they get a decrease like in the skill area or is it like a permanent 
permanent little thing fix where you basically don't have any lowering certain up below a certain level. Because you know how when you get them too high, it decreases over time. Yeah, I can imagine. How's purple doing? Okay, you're cleaning up shit you don't need to. I need to go and check out my zones real quick. Okay. No. Just inside the buildings. I don't need you to clean anything else. A devil strand duster? What is that? Is that a weapon? Fuck. Beat him down. But with the bionic, it won't. Uh, it'll go up, but it won't go down past that certain point. So, like for example, if it gets it up to like level eleven, it'll be fine, right? Why is he sleeping like that? <laughs> Got yaks. There's a war in my territory, and it needs to be hunted down. <clears throat> Mexico, no! Devil Strand, huh? I think I did research on a Devil Strand already, too. I guess that would be helpful to mine. My poor ducks. 
Oh, should probably take them off of a uh, drafting. The dogs are eating the food because nobody's making a kibble. I could have sworn I had plenty of vegetables. For shame. Yeah, I imagine it would. I guess I should probably start researching flak armor soon then. Black armor. I got gunsmithing already done. Huh. Let me see. Oh, huh, that's actually a pretty smart idea. And you keep it on roof, basically? fabrication table would that be past this part or how do I do that fabrication table oh phew. all the fuck over there And that I have plenty of. I have 1,942 pieces of steel. Why do you guys always have to make the bed last? Finally, I guess I can assign. My hunter. He gets upset pretty easily.
15 to craft uh, the fabrication table, but at that point then it wouldn't even matter if I used 15 because I would have a pretty decent thing. So I need a research table plus a multi-analyzer, huh? I was planning on making this area my lab. I was probably going to move the lamp out of the way and, or the couch, put a doorway through here. So whoever slept here would be my researcher. And then I would just put a lab right here. Should the lab be pretty big though? Or should it be a, a pretty standard size? I love how they spend their time in other people's room. Because this is obviously Rejordo's room, right? Unless, do I have to si assign the area to them? Or, I don't think I see anything like that, to be honest with you. Oh! Well, that was fucked. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, there goes my barn. That was, uh, insane. Actually. Jesus, so you still need, you need 18 to get that even started. 18 components, 50 plasteel, 20 gold. It's a good thing I have 18. And I have a gold mine up here. Yeah, I got a gold mine right there, so it should be good for gold. My poor doggos. Who should I assign to this bed? Gorgeous. What's up? Am I? Oh, I did start late. Yeah, I start. I started really late. For the moment, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and check on. Yeah, I, I'm probably staying real late. All right, guys, I got to head out. It's, I didn't realize, but I'm already two hours and 50 minutes in here, and I need to step out. So I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> I'll be back on at 9 o'clock later on tonight, and we can have some more fun doing something else. I don't know what it is, but I'll let you know. And in the meantime, I'll be continuing this game on the side, and I will show you guys later on what I've done with the place, thanks to the help of good old Massey910. <clears throat> All right, guys, 